a Russian fisherman's Twitter account is flooded with photos of the most bizarre deep sea beings ever. The man behind the camera works on a fishing trawler in the northwest of Russia, and uses his phone to document the monstrous creatures that get pulled up in the fishing nets. Some argue that the strange fish look like something from a horror movie, however Roman doesn't seem phased when handling the creatures, and even adds some sense of humour to his tweets. The pictures invoke some controversy and backlash with arguments such deep sea creatures should be left alone. Many of the deep sea beings die because of the changes of pressure when brought to the surface. On a few occasions Roman has captured a frill shark. The freakish looking frill shark is so rarely seen by humans that it makes headlines every time one is found. There's a lot we still don't know about the serpent like deep sea shark. Occupying depths of 50 to 200 meters in the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean, the frilled shark is another scary looking marine living fossil. This shark species belongs to one of the oldest shark lineages, dating back to at least the late Cretaceous and possibly even the late Jurassic period. In January 2007, a Japanese fisherman spotted a strange eel like creature with a mouth full of shark teeth near the surface. It was transferred to a seawater pool where it was filmed. The deep sea continues to amaze researchers with its strange inhabitants, many of whom are still hidden from the world, but some make a rare appearance on the surface of the earth because of the efforts of deep sea divers. Roman's recent catch is a rare black sea devil. He has shared the images of the creature on social media and people can't stop talking about them, with one person saying the creature looks like a face hugger from the movie Alien. Another interesting creature he has captured is the dragonfish. Although they are found at depths of nearly 2 kilometers, the dragonfish actually starts life at the surface of the ocean as a result of its eggs being buoyant. Like many other deep sea creatures, it eventually becomes capable of producing its own light using a method known as bioluminescence, after which it descends to the depths. One of its many light producing photophores can be found on a barbel attached to its lower jaw, which is believed to be used for hunting. It turns out we don't know very much about the deep ocean. The first 200 meters of the ocean are open ocean. Much of the marine life we know lives here. Below 200 meters where there is little light left you enter the twilight zone. Once you pass 1000 meters the water is completely devoid of light, and you have reached the deep ocean. Down here temperatures plummet to 39 degrees Fahrenheit, and constantly stay freezing. The pressure at these depths range from 40 to over 110 times the pressure of the Earth's atmosphere. It was originally thought that life cannot survive without light. We now know that despite this lack of light many creatures can live in this extreme place, such as microorganisms in hydrothermal vents, deep sea corals, fish and many other bizarre creatures. Exploring the deep ocean is challenging because of the harsh conditions, but marine scientists are on a mission to document new species in this unusual place. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.